Welcome back. We apologize for the delay, but our production staff team is working extremely hard to make this experience as beautiful as possible for the viewer. They have now switched to the frame rate, frame rate from 30 frames per second to 60. Hopefully you should have taken notice of that, and the stream is going to be a lot, running a lot more smoothly. But now we're going to be on board with Uplink Biolab. Man, run me through this map. All right, so basically on this map, the main thing that you want to do, if you want to gonna do, if you're a sentinel, you really want to control this purple side. You're not going to control, if you don't control that whole purple side, maybe you get too aggressive and push too far into snow. What that is going to do, the Atlas team, they're going to be spawning in that corner building, going to make for easy overextends and possibly easy points. Yeah, and right now we're going to be basically having all the players from Aztec Gaming run over to the satellite drone while the players from, uh, excuse me, Fear are going to be working a three-man push into purple and one sending on the flank. Yeah, one coming on the flank. Let's go ahead and see which player that is. He's just, he's just playing really sneaky right there. That is actually going to be Brock making, trying to make a play on that drone. But Neo's just going to be playing it slow here. Now, something I saw yesterday from when Prophecy played on this map, they really dominated this whole purple control. Constantly getting aggressive, pushing up, maintaining that area. I don't think they lost control of the in majority of the entire game when they're on the Sentinel side. And that's really what you want to see. You really want to see the aggressiveness from either team and just really control that satellite drone area. Yeah, this uplink game mode is actually really similar to soccer, not necessarily in how it's played, but whoever controls the drone the most is normally going to be your team who wins. So whoever's putting the pressure on, who's ever running this game, is generally going to be the advantageous team. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to go ahead and just go see what Brock is running. Usually, like I said, Brock is the OBJ. He's going to be rocking trophy system, so look for him to be getting a majority of these pulls. But Trev right now is going to be in control of the drone, and he is going to jump in for two points. Fear getting two points on the board to start off this match. Yeah, Fear completely overrunning the Aztecs' base. They made him go four down, and they're still punishing them in kills. And Assassin right now is going to be trying to lock down Purple as he is surrounded by some of your players from Aztec Gaming who now has control of the drone. It looks like they're going to be running a snow. If he can get past this player and a team they can pick up the kill, which does not. They would have had an open break, but they're still going to have pressure down as Clumsy is going to be in the base with Massive and Neos. But unfortunately for them, Team Fear is able to clear out the base. So Nasty G is going to be your last one alive, sitting on top of this satellite drone. Yeah, the thing to bring up as well, the Sentinel side is so much harder to score. You don't have as many routes as you would if you're on the Atlas side when you push through around this right side of the map. Majority of the time for the Sentinel, the only big throw you're going to be able to get is maybe jumping out of mid-bio and trying to go for that launch. Maybe taking a Hail Mary shot from on top of that uh, purple area. But for Atlas, you have so many ways to score. Like Brock right now, you can throw it from top of AC. You can always get close enough to maybe get more to one place. Nice throw coming in there from Brock. But like I was saying, more ways to score on this Atlas side. Yeah, hitting the one-point throw perfectly there. And something that's worth noting, the Aztec squad, when they had their push with the drone, they sent the player with the uplink drone first, right? Right now what you see Fear doing, they're setting up blockers and allowing the organization of the oh. team as they get stopped right at the goal line to go into work is this teamwork a lot better. Yeah, definitely. The setup here, you want to make sure you do not get too aggressive going onto that green platform area. But most of the time what you will see is if you do get too aggressive, a player from the Sentinel side, so in this term Aztec Gaming, they're going to spawn right in that blue building. But look at that on the map. There's going to be a player on the flank. And look at the spawn Legend just got. He's going to be on this top green plat area, going to be able to take out one, trying to find this other player is going to be below the green area. Nice kill there by Legend, but Nasty G is going to be in control of the drone. Yeah, Nasty G, as soon as he got control of the drone, he decided to rotate all the way around the map instead of just playing it. Not necessarily what you're going to see too often, but so far it's working out here for him as some players were coming on the flank to pick up the Fear Gaming squad, but it looks like the entire squad for Aztec Gaming is actually going to go down. So now we're going to see Brock pushing through middle biolab as the players from Aztec Gaming are going to be spawning in blue. So Brock, if he hits this rotation all the way, and he does have some lead blockers as two players go down for Aztec Gaming. This should be an easy one-point play and possibly a dunk. Actually, there's only going to be one player left alive for Aztec Gaming, so a dunk goes in. That is now a 7-0 lead. Yeah, and somebody to keep in mind, if they do reach that 10-point mark before the half of the game, the other team is going to be sort of like a stopwatch like you would see in CTF overtime. They're going to have that much time to get that many points. So, right now, we're going to stay on board with Legend. He's going to be able to pick up a nice kill there, but majority of the time, the, that last play that we saw the score, Really just excellent communication by Brock, his teammates being able to call out, getting a good read of the spawns, rotating all the way around, just playing patient, and it paid off for him. Yeah, you saw again a player from Aztec Gaming picking up the drone, but he was by himself just trying to make plays, and that is not how you want to play uplink. You see again, Trev, he at least has some blockers trying to work around. He's juking some players out. It's going to go for the one-point throw, and he does connect with that easy toss. That is going to be an 8-0 lead. Fear with all of the momentum right now, and they have 53 seconds to pile it on and get another two points. Yeah, they definitely do. Excellent play. That's what you love to see. You don't like to see teams get super greedy all the time and just constantly go for two-point plays. Nasty going to take out Brock there with a nice little punch, and he is 
is going to be in control of the drone, but they did throw it over to that purple area. So Trev right now going to be in control of the ball. Let's go, uh, the drone. Let's go ahead and jump on board with him up on top of this green area. Maybe, oh, what's he trying to do? I thought he was maybe going to try to go for a throw, but does throw it in between to try to drop it down to one of his teammates. Going to take on Nasty G, who did just pick that up and now in control of it once again. Yeah, Trev with the pass to his teammate there. It looks like he's going to actually be able to put this in with a two-point play, and that is going to be your round. That means Aztec Gaming on this next side is only going to have four minutes and 42 seconds to outscore the opponent. But the way Fear is playing, I just don't know if that is possible. You got Legend sitting in 17 and 10, and every single player, Brock at 13 and 9, is positive for this Fear Gaming squad, and they are just completely overrunning Aztec Gaming in this uplink biolab. Still very possible. It's basically like they're playing a whole round. Only, uh, what is it, 18 seconds? So it's not, it's not going to be impossible for them to do. If that first side has anything to tell the story about this entire match, this Aztec squad is going to be struggling the rest of the time. Yeah, and we're going to try and give some love to the Aztec players and see if they can make this comeback. Four minutes and 33 or 30 seconds right now. They have a little bit of a time disadvantage as they don't get the full round time, but we're going to see what they can do. Yeah, definitely. Neil's going to be positioned up in this top purple area, trying to lock that down with the bow. Trying to control this just this whole entire drone area right now. Kill's going to be going down. It's going to be Legend taking out Nasty G, but they're going to be able to swap kills there. Legend also taking another player. That is going to be Neos. And Kill's just really just all of them fighting over this drone area right now. Yeah, Brock right now just trying to control the drone area. They really only have to waste time to be able to pull off this win. They don't even need to score at all. As long as they can control this drone area and not let Aztec Gaming get too much momentum going, they should be able to take this quite handily. Yeah, they definitely should. So Neos are going to be up top on this green area trying to hold it down. That's really what you want to do. The majority of the time to start around, you're going to really see teams just fight for that initial control of the drone area. And once they get it, that's when you're going to be able to get that set up and really just start to just add on points as this game goes on. Yeah, you saw Massive right there trying to work something, and he actually did have a blocker, so it looks like they're trying to work on the teamwork a little bit. But they were going to go four down right there. As Nasty G is actually going to be able to put two points in. Now they only have three minutes and 30 seconds, but if they get some momentum going, it's looking good for them. They're actually doing pretty well on this side. Yeah, definitely so. Aztec going to be in the blue arrows. If you do look at your map, it looks like they're going to be able to pick up that drone once again. But all four players from Fear going to be positioned over in this blue area on board with Nasty G right now, trying to jump on top of green, not going to be able to pick up one. And uh, Legend picking up Neos right there, so swapping kills. Yeah, Massive going to be your last one left alive. He's going to need to stop this drone and allow his teammates to come in and help support him, which he is able to do. So Nasty G is going to be with your ball. Looks like he might be going on top of Big Crane. Going to be working around. He goes for the one-point throw. Unfortunately for him, if he had known there was no players in the base for Team Fear, that should have been an easy dunk for him. A little bit poor map awareness there and an unfortunate play, but they still are able to score. Now only down by seven points left with two minutes and 39 seconds left on your clock. Yeah, definitely. Brock going to be in control of the drone right now. Top of our area going to be getting some shots, but that armor is going to do him justice, and he's going to be able to stay alive. So two players currently down for this Aztec squad, trying to tack on more points, and that is going to be another score for this Fear squad, 12-3. to 3 with two minutes and 20 seconds left. Yeah, another point coming in. It's got That's got to be really hurtful to the egos of the Aztec Gaming squad. You know, they started to get a little bit of momentum going. They have three points. They were doing pretty well on this side, and then they just come in with a dunk to make this match even more difficult for them to win. I just want to point out, Legend has been doing such an excellent job this game, getting those cutoffs and really getting those important kills to lead those initial scores. He's been in the kill feed this entire game. And what you saw there mid-bio, Brock just kind of jumping around with a drone, trying to waste some time. Legend got a nice two-piece there. They weren't able to make anything of it. That's just someone I want to play. He's been doing such an excellent job supporting his squad. Yeah, great job by Legend there, getting that two-piece as soon as the Aztec Gaming Squad started to push the drone up right now. And with a minute and 43 seconds, honestly, all the Fear Squad is going to need to do is start to play the ball, and that's going to waste enough time for them to be able to win. One-point toss is going to be going in, but it looks like he is going to miss it, and the ball is going to be reset as it falls off the map. Yeah, it definitely is. So on board with Massive right now, just trying to fight for this area, but like you said, going to be almost impossible. They're going to have to get something going real quick in terms of getting two-point plays only, and doing that, you will probably never see that in the uplink game. Yeah, three players from your Aztec squad surrounding the satellite drone, but Fear is going to be pushing pretty hard through Purple to work on the flank. Clumsy able to pick one up. He's going to have two players left to get the hill before they can start making a push for it. He is going to be going for the ball, it looks like. Going to be rotating around to now this blue side. He does have a blocker in place. If he can win that gunfight, that's going to be extremely important for them. But there's two players from Team Fear right now pushing up and putting some pressure on him. So he's just going to try to toss it into his base. It looks like he does have a teammate there to get the kill. Oh. It's massive, going massive with a two point play. They now have 50 seconds to get about seven more points. It's extremely difficult task. I wouldn't say quite impossible though. Let's see if they can do it as Brock is going to be taking control of this drone. I mean, honestly, all Fear really needs to do at this point is just throw the ball on the map and keep resetting. Just get control of this entire area. Keep on resetting the, uh, the drone. 
that's all you really need to do now at this point in time. And like you said, you can't settle for one point plays. It's basically impossible for Aztec to make anything of this. As Trev just going for the one point play is going to connect on that one. So the ball, the drone is going to be reset once again. 13 to 5 is the score as we hit the final 20 second mark. Yeah, and honestly, the way they're playing this, still going for scores, even though they have a clear lead and all they need to do is play it, is really just seems to be them making a statement saying, hey, we're going in momentum. You're eliminated from this, but we still need to fight. So we're going to take everything we can get and we're going to work on everything as possible to work on this next round. Yeah, definitely. So Aztec going to be eliminated from this tournament. Yeah, very unfortunate to them. We're glad they came out from Mexico, making an appearance, getting an extremely first tough round against Denial. And they played well. Like that hard point game, only lost by 11 points. It was really just coming down to the teamwork of the Mexican teams. Hopefully, if they're going to try and qualify next year, they're going to have a year to work on everything, get all the kinks out. And I'm really looking forward to seeing these Mexican teams in the future. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, just for Neos and Clumsy, we know that they placed top 24 at last year's Call of Duty Championships and Ghosts. So... That's just something to bring up. You're not going to qualify this year. It's just kind of demoralizing a little bit. Yeah, but, you know, hopefully if, you know, I don't know what the Mexican scene is like, so maybe they have a lot of love over there, but if they can take time and maybe get clumsy and massive, you know, a little bit more working, get some organization between these Mexican teams. Hopefully it'll work out for them. But that's going to be it for your first round. Aztec Gaming is eliminated. G4G Fear is going to move on, and we're going to be going to a commercial break before this next match. <laughs> 